Bleeding. Why is your nose bleeding? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Anyways, we are about to do something pretty ignorant. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Hopefully this doesn't spin around and bite me in the butt. But um, I've been keeping a secret from you guys for quite a little while. I bought another car. Um, the car is running. It does run, unlike the Eclipse. It actually is in pretty decent condition, but the issue that we're having right now is the fact that the car, I think, has a crack in the radiator and it's slowly leaking out coolant. I think it's a slow leak. If it's a slow leak, that's a good thing because then I will be able to drive it across town to the shop and we can fix it. Hopefully it goes that smoothly. I don't know if it's gonna go smooth at all. I'm just hoping I don't do any damage to the car in the process of trying to get it here. It's like 10, 11 o'clock at night, something like that. And um, I've just decided impulsively that I'm gonna go get the car because for the next seven straight days or longer, at least seven days, there is a 100% chance of rain. And I wanna get the car here uh, just because honestly, I wanna work on it. I wanna have it here. I've owned the car for like three or four weeks. I've had the title in my name for almost a month and I don't have it here yet. All we got is payday, Gary, Zoe, and actually, fun fact, um, today we actually lost a member of the group. I sold the bike today, got some cash, somebody picked it up. It's not gonna be the last bike that I ever own. I'm sure I'm gonna get another one. We'll get back into that sometime soon, but for now we're focusing on cars. So anyways, we gotta go get this car, and uh, I think you guys are gonna like it. It's a pretty cool one. Oh, where's she at? Where's she at? There it is. Oh, the little thing. Oh. Say hello to my new 2003 Acura RSX Type S. So the car is 100% bone stock. It just has a clutch and coilovers. Still on stock wheels. It's got stock everything else. So the car is not that fast and it's old. It's got 230 something thousand miles, but it's probably gonna be a fun project. <laughs> it started right up. Say hi to my new car. I'm gonna be daily in this thing as soon as I get it fixed. I'm just letting you know. Anyways, car starts up. I'm gonna stick some coolant in this thing. We'll see how bad it's leaking. You can pull the radiator cap off. It looks like there's coolant in the radiator. That's weird. I think I can hear it leaking already. It's dripping, but I don't know where it's dripping from. Anyways, I'm gonna let this thing run and we're gonna see if coolant's coming out anywhere because the radiator is full and the coolant overflow is also full. Is it leaking? Oh yeah. It's leaking pretty decent. I'm gonna watch coolant temps to see how long it takes for them to actually get up because it's not losing that much water. Coolant temps are already getting up. Okay. I say let's fill this puppy up. Let's hop on the interstate and let's just get over there as fast as possible. On the interstate? Hmm? Okay. So I'll just have to keep an eye on the coolant and uh, make it home quick. Hopefully the car don't break. Oh, here we go, boy. <laughs> God, I hope it makes it back. Now, of course, I mean, this car is for sure going to need some work. Um, it feels like the alignment's off a little bit. Overall, though, the interior is in pretty decent shape besides the steering wheel. And, of course, the leather seats having some cracks in them. But besides that, like, the car is actually not bad. Let me see. Is this a six-speed or five-speed? I can't see it. <laughs> I think I want to make this actually a car for me and Nick both to start autocrossing. I think it'd be a lot of fun. So uh, we'll we'll have to see how that goes as well. Well, damn, the car's still running. <laughs> we still have great coolant temps. Fuck yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> it's going to be really funny whenever Nick comes here tomorrow and he sees the Acura just in the middle of the shop. He's gonna be so confused. Oh my God, the clutch is so heavy in this car. Back this up a couple inches. All right, let me see if I can back this thing in here. I wonder if I can just back it up right here. Well, oh, that works great. Oh my God, that's so perfect. It's such a skinny car. I can just park it right here. Oh, and I can still get it closer to the Eclipse. Oh, fuck. Oh my God, we could fit like seven cars in here. One right there, two right there, Mustang, Acura, Eclipse, Porsche, 
They can fit a whole nother car right here. Ooh, this is fucking cool. Let me pull the Mustang in. Cars are so cool. Cars are fun. Oh, I got a lot more room on this side. And how far back do I need to go? Not far. So yeah, I can, I can squeeze this in here. That should be good. Wow, we can fit quite a bit in here. Thank you for the help. You're welcome. Sorry about your nosebleed. That's Poor timing. Okay. But thank you for taking me to get this. But yeah, this is the new car. So we got Zoe, we got Payday, and we got Gary. I don't know what to name this car yet. What do you guys think we should name it? Comment down below. Seriously, give me some name suggestions. Usually I get names like that. Well, I, I didn't get that name from you guys. I didn't get that from you guys. I didn't get that from you guys. But this one, I want your help on this one. Help me come up with a name for it. So comment below. Let me know what we should name it and what we should do with it. This car is definitely going to be more of like a cross country, super well handling, like mountain runner. Um, this is gonna be a good road trip car. This is the track car, of course. So this is the one that like, we have no sort of mechanical sympathy for. Fuck this car. Gary, that's a stepchild. We're never gonna work on that thing. But this car, I have no idea what to do with it. I don't know what to do at all. So yeah, let me know. Betty? Betty? Betty White? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess, I don't know if that's gonna be the end of this video or not, probably not. Nope. Okay, so it's the next day and uh, we got the RSX home last night. We're not gonna do anything else with that car. We're done with it for now. It's sitting in this spot for probably the next 90 seconds because I'm about to move it. Because we actually are about to start diagnosing Zoe. If you didn't see last video, whenever we took Zoe to the drag strip for the first time with the new Pro Charger kit, it actually ended up running, I think, a 12.7 in the quarter mile. As we started driving home, apparently sometime close to pulling up to the shop, it started puking oil, literally puking it. You can't really see it underneath there, but um, whenever I move the car forward, I'll show you how much is actually on the ground. So anyways, let me get these two cars out of the shop so we can move Zoe forward and uh, you'll see how bad it actually is. I just really hope the battery's not dead because I just realized that I accidentally left the dome lights on in this car last night. So uh, hopefully it starts. Probably not going to though. Oh wow, it started. So let's try and back that thing up where it's gonna be parked. Now it's not bad, good spot. Now there's plenty of room around it. Plenty of room for the Porsche, you're right. Oh, I still could have got closer to the Eclipse. All right, so now, Pull that out. That's a little bit of oil that's been leaking. Let me show you what's up. The car, this is literally just from the car being parked. It had a solid stream of oil literally coming out of it. You can see, you probably can't see it because I wiped most of it up, but there's some decent residue. I don't know what part of the car it's coming out of. That's what uh, I guess we're about to figure out. But before I back the car up back over here, so actually this is something I've been meaning to do for a while. I was saving this particular thing for whenever I had torn apart the blown engine that's in the corner, but I guess uh, we're opening this a little bit early. But anyways, Super Clean had actually sent a couple care packages for the shop. So now we have some uh, some pretty decent cleaning supplies. They, they sent a shirt. This is actually what I need. They sent some floor absorbent. Pour this all over the ground. It'll soak up all the oil, sweep it up, and then you just scoop it up. And I actually have a bucket of uh, some of it already, but we're gonna be using this because I wanna see how well it works. Bottoms up. And then I'll probably just sweep this up in a little bit. Anyway, Super Clean actually sent quite a bit of stuff. Um, I believe this is kind of like Dissolves Grease, super easy, super fast. Yeah, it's kind of like brake parts cleaner. That's something I was looking forward to. We got some wheel cleaner. Ooh, some foaming cleaner, tough task cleaner, degreaser. So that'll be good for whenever I tear that engine apart. And then we got this one, which is basically the same thing as the foam one, but liquid. So let me get this, let me get this broom and we'll start sweeping. I'm gonna clean this shit up. Ugh, dried coolant and the oil, gross. And drop that right in there. And there we go. The oil 
is cleaned up. Thanks, Super Clean. I appreciate it. Thank you for sending the care package. I'll definitely be using your stuff a lot more in the future. So first things first, we gotta figure out where this leak is coming from. It's about time for me to do some maintenance on this car anyways. I was planning on doing an oil change. It's time for me to change out the braking oil on the supercharger and same for the transmission. But if the engine's broken in some sort of way, whether it's a crack in the block or something's wrong that's causing it to leak that I can't fix, then if everything has to come out, then I'm not changing the oil or anything yet. try and preserve it from making a mess. It looks like it's actually coming from one of the fittings. It's not an AN fitting, but it's like a sandwich. Um, it's a bigger banjo bolt on the actual oil filter housing or the sandwich plate that comes from Mishimoto. I don't know why it's leaking, unless one of them possibly came loose, which is possible. So I guess we'll uh, we'll take off the oil filter and probably take off that uh, the sandwich plate and see if anything's loose or What's going on? There we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely time for an oil change, for sure. Cool. All right, so we got that out and this can go ahead and come off. Ah, oh, the fucking oil pressure thing, damn. It is for sure coming from the sandwich plate. I know that because there's no oil above it. So uh, oil definitely is coming from this specific spot. Let me disconnect the oil pressure oil pressure sensor, come on. Okay, oh, these came loose. That's why I can, I can loosen these with my fingers, so okay. These just started coming loose a little bit. I don't know why, unless I just didn't have them very tight to start with, which is possible, because everything here is aluminum. I was a little bit worried about over tightening it whenever I installed it, so they might have just came loose. Especially with uh, me installing the Pro Charger kit and everything, relocating the oil cooler, these lines get moved around a lot, so they could have just wiggled their way loose. That's probably what happened, so I'll just set that right there. Since we're already using some super clean stuff to clean the floor, I'm gonna use their aerosol can to clean all this up too, so I wanna see how well this works. Oh, I did not expect that. Wow. Fuck. This is a degreaser, not a parts cleaner. So I'm still gonna save this for that engine. We're tearing that shit apart soon. Okay, here we go. This should work better. Oh, these had a lot of room to be tightened. Hopefully this shit doesn't happen again. Oh my God, these are so loose. No wonder it was leaking. Get some oil, rub it on that O-ring, ooh. We're good now, we can tighten it back down and we should not have any more leaks. I'm glad I saw that leak before just getting in the car and ripping it without any oil in it because that was leaking fast. It's amazing that I drove an hour and a half away, did a whole track day, and came back like five hours total of driving and in the last like 60 seconds of me driving is whenever it started leaking like that. I'm glad I caught it. Cause that could have been bad. Shit, I should have plugged in the fucking sensor first. Damn it, you slippery bitch. Get the fuck off, all right, come on. All right, so that's plugged in. And there we go. Oh, oh no, the Mustang's getting rained on. Ah, I can hear it. No, it just got washed. Oh, it's starting to drizzle. Ah, that was a close one. All right, let's uh, let's finish this. All right, that's tight. We can run this up in here. Get down in there. Go. I'll go ahead and put our oil filter back on and I'll put in probably a quarter to of oil. I wanna make sure that, of course, we're not leaking before I do an oil change. And we're just gonna fill it with some, uh, some 530 just to make sure it's got oil in it. And let's see, oil is good. 
It's right where it needs to be. It's got plenty for it to idle and at least do a startup. Totally just missed that. Dude, putting the dipstick back in on these cars is such a pain in the ass. Fuck, dude. They really just don't want to go in. It is not that hard. Why is it? Oh my God. There we go. Now it's in. Fuck. No more leaks. We have new brakes to put on it. We got to change the oil in the supercharger and we got to put new fluid in the transmission. And after that, that's a good refresh for Zoe. She'll be good to go. Boom. Ooh. Well guys, I have good news. Zoe's not blown up. There's nothing wrong with the engine. It's not leaking oil anymore. All around, it's time for a refresh. So we're going to put all new fluids and everything. And then on top of that, R1 Concepts actually sent a full brake kit for the car. Not a big brake kit yet, but we got some new pads and rotors for the car that we'll be installing soon. And I also got something a little bit dressy for the wheels. I'm not gonna talk about that yet, but it's pretty cool. So anyways, that's what's coming up next. You can look forward to it. But for now, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And by the way, I actually got a new discount code for Dr. Squatch that you guys can use. And it's back to the original one, finally. It is code Zorby. That is it, not Zorby20, not DSC Daniel, or anything like that, it's just Zorby. It'll save you some money on their soap. Go check it out, go use it, give it a shot. If you haven't used it, I highly suggest it. I use it, I've been using it for like a year now. It's great, but um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and um, we'll be working on this next time, so I'll see you then.